we're here at the Guild Hall for the Hamptons International Film Festival Summer Documentary Series, and we're here to watch a movie called It Might Get Loud. Now, this movie is about three icons of rock and roll, and some movies take the volume up to 11. This one's definitely going to go to 12, so let's rock. drive everyone crazy trying to get the sound that I can hear in my head to come out of the speakers. It's my voice. That is my voice. We're going there to have a chat, but it just so happens that the instruments are there as well, so who knows? I plan to trick both of these guys into teaching me all their tricks. It's going to be very interesting. It might get loud, featuring three guitar heroes of rock and roll. First of all, Mr. Jack White from the White Stripes. Second, Jimmy Page, the Jimmy Page, Mr. Jimmy Page, the inventor of the fuzz box, played with the Yardbirds, and was in a band that you might have heard of called Led Zeppelin. And third of all, The Edge from U2. He wears a woolly hat. <laughs> This is what I'm actually playing. That's it. The rest is the foot pedal, the effects, the whole thing. You know, so if you're on acoustic guitar and say, here's my new riff, it's a really cool riff, listen. The premise of bringing three different musicians there was pretty wonderful because they opened each other up. Right. If they were there alone, I think they might be more guarded. But the fact that they're sharing with other artists, when Jimmy picks up his guitar and plays a whole lot of love, it's kind of a throwdown. Yeah. And now Edge and Jack have to do the same. Yeah. I had this record at home of uh, a guitar that had a lot of sustain on it. And, I, and, I, and I, I got him to come around and have a listen to it. I said, can you get that? And he went away and came back with this phenomenal thing. A distortion pedal, which overloads the signal. Overdrive the sound and make it sound pretty rude. These guys play three really iconic guitars in rock and roll. Jimmy, the Gibson Les Paul, the Edge, the Gibson Explorer, and Jack White, a crummy old K guitar that costs about 80 bucks that you can buy from any shop anywhere. So it just goes to show you don't have to have an expensive guitar to really rock. And, you know, who says you need to buy a guitar? I went around to the stores on on the street and found Stuyvesant guitars. Guitars everywhere, people everywhere. This instrument was just there, calling out to me. This explorer. I was really starting to go on my way then. My technique started to improve. It became like a total addiction, to the point where actually I was now starting to take it to school. And I'd be practicing during the recess breaks. And then it got to the point where the guitar was confiscated. And it's great to see so many clips, old clips of Jimmy when he was a kid and a teenager and, you know, a session music. You see him when he's 12 and you, yeah. and, uh, you wonder, he says, uh, they asked him what he wants to do when he grows up, and he said, well, biological research. I think he did chemistry. He did a lot of chemistry he research. Did his own, he did his own kind of research, yes. Like a big part of my childhood was, uh, uh, you know, getting into a different state of mind and then listening to Led Zeppelin <laughs> music. Jimmy Page hasn't done many interviews. Right. So when you don't do many interviews, there, there becomes so much lore, there's so much speculation. Like everyone thought Paul was dead. Right. Right? And, uh, 
And that's because they didn't give interviews and they were more seclusive. So the more reclusive they are, the more you build these stories. I think when people see Jimmy Page in this movie, they'll see a very different man than they expect. And, and Jack White is extremely authentic. I think that really comes across in the film. Oh my God, he's, he's one of the most interesting people I've met in my life. He's just so fascinating, so creative. I love seeing Jack White. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm not somebody who's a collector of music now. I don't really download or buy pop music now, right. you know. But I think I'm going to run out and get some of his yeah. music because he's so into it, you know, he's so hardcore. So that was great. <gasps> oh, my Lord. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. That's great. It was a single cutaway, and I had a, this brilliant luthier in Seattle, uh, Randy Parsons. He made it a double cutaway for me. And then I said, well, listen, I have an idea. Can you just, can you put a silver, uh, a green bullet harmonica mic on the guitar so I can just take it out and, and right there. 